right? 6.30. Uh, Local Conservation Commission, Hadley, Massachusetts, December 12th. Uh, Gary Pellis here is not, uh, not on our uh, regular chairman. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be running, I guess I'll be involved. <laughs> I have no objections from from the other members. I'll be running. Uh, Doing great. I'll go tonight, and um, we just have a couple quick hours. And, uh, and and we'll get right into it right now. Okay, what do we got first here? Um, RDA for uh, six Nashua Road. Uh, Laxman Pramar uh, seeks to remove several trees leaning toward a single family home. The trees are located uh, in the 35 foot no disturb zone. Um, yes, I think Keyshore is here um, and some commissioners have out after Keyshore marked the trees that are to be removed. Yep. So I don't know if you have the updated plans and I can also share my screen. All right. We'll, um, we went there with we'll so, yeah, yeah, there was a number yeah. of us that went out in the field and we right. went there. Yeah. And so, Kishore, we went through the commissioner's recommendations on what trees to be removed, but we could just go over it in the meeting. Um, Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Give me one second. So I just numbered the trees to make it easier to refer to each one. So the first one um, is approved to be removed. The second one, uh, clearing the vines is, is the only thing that's approved. So these, the second tree, tree number three is okay to be removed. Tree number four is okay to be removed. And tree number five, that's the one that kind of is split. Yep. Um, and so you can remove the part split it and remove the part that is leaning towards the house and leave the part that's leaning towards the wetland in place. And, and then the commission also decided that they would be okay if you were to remove the branch that's hanging over the driveway. Um, okay. Yeah. And I think the only condition I can think of is to leave the stumps in place. Are there other conditions that you all would, would want for the determination? I'll leave them a couple of feet high, two feet high, three feet high or whatever. Two feet, two feet. Like two feet is fine. Okay. Two feet. Okay. Great. Um, any other discussion on the RDA? That's just what we talked about at the that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. much what we have. Sure, are you still planning to day. do any um plantings in the wetland area or buffer zone? Yeah, do you, you want us to replant some um uh, whatever we take down and replant uh something similar? I think that would be favorable if you do a few yep. plantings of native species. Yep, yep, that's fine by us. All right, so we're going to issue a determination. Right. Can... So that would be a negative determination. The commission thinks that it will require further permitting. And no. it would be a three. Buffer work is in the buffer zone. Yeah, as the point. Okay, yeah. So looking at a negative determination on your uh your request for determination here. Uh negative. Uh would you say number three, probably? Yeah. yeah three. The, the work described in, in the request is within the buffer zone as defined in the regulations, but will not alter in areas subject to jurisdiction under the act. Therefore, the work does not require the filing of the notice of intent and subject to the following conditions. And we're talking about um the cutting of the tree. Yeah, uh, leaving stumps, it, leaving stump, stumps out, you know, 24 inches above yeah. existing grade and mm -hmm. and otherwise following our recommendations um, on the other on the other trees that weren't that we uh, said 
weren't going to shut down. Yep. And then also, I think in the request for determination, um, he asked for review under the Hadley bylaw. So we also would have to do a negative six or a positive six. A negative six uh, determination? Yeah. So that just is saying it's not subject to review under the Hadley Correct. bylaw as well. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you can make a motion for a negative three and six determination if that's what you would like. Yep. Do I hear it? Okay. So do I hear a motion? I'll make one. Second. Second. All right. Um, so. No, we and, oh, and then, uh, okay. It's all in favor? All right. All right. All right. Okay. Find the uh, bold unanimous. I don't think anybody. <laughs> Who else is here? <laughs> Great. Okay. So I'll just start down there. So, Keisha, I'll send this to you. Do you want me to send it to you or, or Laxman? Both, if possible. Okay. Great. So All right. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. All right. Pass that around. All right. What do we got? We got DOT next. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello. All right. Next on the agenda, uh, tonight's agenda, we have. Uh, RDA for uh, Route 116, Mass DOT. Uh, looks like we have a representative here uh, from Mass DOT. Um, DOT seeks to perform resurfacing and realignment work on Route 116 in Hadley from the Route 9 intersection to the Hadley Amherst border. Uh, portions of this work will take with it, take uh, take place within the 100-foot uh, buffer zone. <clears throat> um, this we have uh, Billy, Billy Lee. Hi, everybody. Uh, hello. And, um, Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, if you want to, yeah, describe what you're going to do and uh, what what we're uh, what we're looking at here. Yeah, absolutely. If I share my screen, you guys can see all of that, right? Sure. Okay. So I just want to pull up a locus map. Oops, sorry, let me close this. Okay. Um. So here's just a quick locus map. Um. This is a basic uh, mass UT resurfacing project on 160. Um, in Amherst and Hadley. So obviously tonight we will be discussing the Hadley portions of the project. So if you look at this locus map, you can just see a very high level air, um, area of the project. So it goes from the Amherst Hadley town line all the way down to the intersection of Route 116 with Route 9. Um, and then, um, you know, I'm sure you guys have all reviewed the, the project narrative, but um, for the majority of this work, um, it is exempt under the Wetlands Protection Act 10.022B2 for um, resurfacing. So I can just read that um, piece to you guys. Pavement repair, resurfacing, and reclamation of existing roadways within the right-of-way configuration provided that the roadway and shoulders are not widened. No staging or stockpiling of materials. All disturbed road shoulders are stabilized within 72 hours of completion of the resurfacing or reclamation. And no work on the drainage system is performed other than adjustments and or repairs to respective structures within the, within the roadway. So there is no um, planned upgrades to drainage, but I was telling Kayla in the field, um, you know, if they're, you know, going through and doing the resurfacing and they see a decrepit catch basin or something, they'll replace it in kind, um, but no upgrades to the system. So the main portion of Route 116 is, um, you know, in some areas within the 100 foot buffer zone. Let me go down to some of these wetland maps so that you guys can all see. Um, so as you can see, the wetland areas um, 
and the scale is in the bottom right here is about 500 feet. So there are a lot of areas where we're technically within the 100 foot buffer, but because it's existing roadway and because of that provision that I just read to you all, um, that work is considered exempt. Um, and then I did just want to focus on the area um, where 116 meets Route 9. So there was a safety study done in this location um, showing that uh, the existing acceleration ramp is um, somewhat dangerous. Um, there was a traffic study, a crash safety study done. Um, so the project is proposing a realignment um, of this intersection um, that will improve the safety um, for bikers uh, and um, roadway traffic. Um, this will result in 765 feet within the 100 foot buffer zone is going to be converted from impervious to pervious cover. Um, and then there is 593 square feet within the 100 foot buffer zone that is proposed to remain impervious cover. Um, so if you look at this image here, that double hatching is the area that is the existing um, acceleration ramp, existing roadway that will be converted to vegetated surface. And then that hatched area, that's the non-double hatch, just the diagonal lines, that is existing roadway and it will remain existing roadway after the um, construction of the proposed realignment. Um, that diagonal lined hatch area will require full depth reconstruction and it is within the buffer zone. So everything kind of northwest of this lime green line is the buffer zone. Um, but again, you know, the net gain of this is 765 square feet of impervious area that will be converted to vegetated surface. Um, there is an existing catch basin on that acceleration lane that is going to be removed and two catch basins are going to be put in its place. That's just to meet the um, current highway standards. We require two catch basins in a low point, and those will be tying into an existing drainage system um, so they won't be, you know, creating a new discharge point or, or putting any of that water into the buffer zone. It'll just be collecting water off the roadway and delivering it to the existing drainage system. Um, so that is primarily the gist of the work. Um, so I will kind of open it up to any questions that you folks have. Everything to the left of that, where your proposed ramp is, mm -hmm. everything, everything to the, uh, I guess, West, west of that is yes. that's all going to be removed. All that black house is going to be removed. Yes, we okay. just didn't all count. We didn't count it because it's not in the buffer zone, but that will also be converted to vegetated surface. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, where's, where's the bike path? Where's the? Oh, there's. Um, sorry, there's no proposed bike path here, but it's just like, um, when I say that it will improve safety. It it's will improve safety for anyone who's using that as a bikeway, um, but there aren't proposed like bike accommodations on Route Nine in this project. Are not? No, they are not included. Okay. Is that rule that bad where you need to fix it? I mean, I um, go down that road. I don't pay attention to it, but I've been on a lot of roads around Massachusetts, and they're horrendous. Going over one sixteen bridge is absolutely incredible. I don't remember this being this big of a project or this big of a problem. And we live in yeah. the I, I don't have the traffic study information with me tonight, um, but I can say that there was a traffic crash safety study done and, and um, it was identified that a realignment of this intersection would um, imp improve the traffic safety of the location. And also, you know, there are some improvements in terms of converting impervious to vegetated cover. Can we see that traffic impact study? Um, yeah, I, I don't have it with me, but if you are interested, I can probably follow up with that information. Yeah, I, I should say also, I'm the district environmental engineer, so trap like the traffic safety stuff is not <laughs> really my strong suit. Um, but I can definitely find that information if you all are curious. I would, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and I guess. Could you talk a little bit about the plant erosion controls for the project? 
Yeah, so um, our mass DOT standard specifications for all construction projects require erosion and sedimentation controls. All of those will be set up prior to any ground disturbance. Um, and then, you know, any areas that are um, kind of bordering um, a water resource area, obviously will have those erosion sediment controls. Uh, we are unable to dictate the means and methods to the contractors, but the language is written so that it requires them to establish erosion sediment controls, but the contractor is, at, at the end of the day, um, they determine the means and methods of how they will do that. So they will choose, you know, um, how they want to go about it, but it has to be um, to our standard specifications. And the clerk of the works, the clerk of the works will be monitoring that, correct? Whoever, whoever your representatives are? Yes, yes. So the way that our projects work is typically we have, um, you know, a a contractor who um, it you know has the bid for the construction, and then our mass DOT construction staff does the oversight of the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're inspectors. Okay. So, will you be the kind of environmental monitor for the project, or, or will you have somebody else? Doing I will that? not. We have yeah, we have um, designated folks in the construction unit who specialize in environmental compliance. I'm always available um, to contact for any questions, especially if it has to do with a permit that was obtained during the design phase. Um, but environmental compliance through the construction phase is the responsibility of the construction unit. And when are, uh, when are we looking for, uh, when, or when are you folks looking for construction on this on this site? Um, so this is anticipated for the construction season of 2025. And we're just dealing with what, 25, 75%, 25% of fans right now? Um, I believe these are 25, 75. Hold on, let me just scroll up and check. Yeah, 25, 75. So this was an expedited project. So sometimes um, for our expedited projects, we kind of combine submittals. So the 2575 was one submittal. Is there this bit of problem with his accidents here that you guys have to spend a lot of money to, to do this ramp? Or what's the big reasoning for doing this project? Yeah, so again, you know, I'm the district environmental engineer, so I'm not knee deep in the traffic and crash studies um, that's done by our traffic section, um, but it was identified in the traffic and crash safety studies that this was a dangerous intersection and it would be, you know, made more safe by this. Um, we had a resurfacing project that was scheduled and so it made a lot more sense to incorporate this realignment into this resurfacing project rather than waiting for it to come up again. And have you have you filed with Amherst? Have you had that hearing yet? Or are you still waiting to have the hearing with Amherst? No, the hearing with Amherst is scheduled for January. Okay. Mm -hmm. And like, what's your timeline for the project? Like, when are you planning to send it out to bid? Um, I believe this project is going to be advertised in March of 2024. We got some time though. So yeah, I'm trying to if you feel like you want more information, we can do a continuance. If you feel, I also I don't think it's not the commission's job to determine if the traffic study is. No, know, I get I get that too, but I know what Stevie's saying though too. Yeah. Twelve years I was on an apartment. I don't remember a single accident on that part of the off ramp. Me neither. Right. Well, so, we you know. have to consider the wetlands and the. Right. Zone area, right. Floodplain. Well, I can say what I want to. Yeah. So up to you all. Yeah, I'll jump it up a little bit. All right. You want so just people until yeah. That's so that how it works. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, we can we'll we'll probably uh sounds like we want to continue it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's it. It. and we do want can to I, see can I ask time. why we're continuing it? Is that related to the Wetlands Protection Act? It's more to me, it's more or less related to DOT. To be honest with you, because DOT came in here for years telling us they're going to widen Route Nine, and all they did was create two bike paths, and that's just not right. So we're not going to, you know, I'm not, I personally am not going to rubber stamp everything from DOT. I know you guys just don't care what we say, anyways, because you didn't care what the town of Hadley says back when you were doing this Route Nine redevelopment. 
there's always going to be a question mark now when you guys do things. I'm sorry. That's the way I feel personally. Okay, understood. So we'll probably, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, table this till the next meeting. Uh, we'll have a full board back. Yep. And uh, and we'll all make, we'll, we'll all uh, make some decisions. Yeah. Chew it over some more then. Yeah. Um, can I ask what follow up information you all are looking for? So you guys want to see the traffic um, crash study? Is there anything else related to the wetland resources or buffer zones that you would like to see any further information? You uh, come up with the, um, I, I mean, I, I know you said typical proposed sediment controls here. I mean, are we talking hay bales? What, you know, get some more details on that stuff, on, on that? Yeah, so I can provide information of what we include in our standard specifications. But again, since this work is done by a contractor, we are not able to um dictate the means and methods so it's it's um i can definitely get you guys some more information but i do just want to state that we don't dictate the means and methods so at the end of the day it is um on the contractor to do that you know we right. have language in our standard specifications that requires them to implement erosion sediment controls to a specific standard um but we can't dictate how they do that mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, no, I think it'd be good to see those plans. The sure. which plans? The plans for that, especially for that. Like the only thing I'd be concerned on the 116 section would be the uh the three culverts, the overpass of the middle river by Kelly's, because that's pretty much guardrail straight down the river. So they're gonna have to have something in line there for erosion control. Yeah. And I don't know if the silt sock would be enough there if you'd have to actually build something or do whatever, but but if that's all going to be included in the language for when they put it out to bid, then I guess that's up to the contractor to figure out, so. All right, Billy. Yeah. All right, thank you guys so much. January. Um, yeah, let's you know, January 9th. Let me double check, though. That would be Tuesday, January 9th at 6 30 p.m. All right, I'll make a motion to table the discussion on the 116 resurfacing to January 9th. Second. You hear a second? Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> All right, so, um, Billy, I'll be in touch with you and I will send you the Zoom link for that meeting once the time comes around. And then I will also distribute whatever materials you sent to me to the committee. Okay, great. Thank you so much. And if anybody has any further questions, um, Kayla has my email, so please feel free to send me an email. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. Thanks. Have a good night. As well. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. All right. Well, that's uh, what do we got? Other bill, uh, other business coming in. Uh, minor change to uh, UMass stream restoration plans. Yeah. So Kristen McDonough from SWCA just reached out to me. Um, regarding a minor change to the stream restoration plans um, that's by UMass. And I have them here if you'd like to look at it, but it's I think it's very minor. They're restoring an area of new scour um, and they're also put, placing hand boulders um, to direct, redirect the flow so that there's not as much scouring along the bank. Um, if you wanna take a look at that. So I said that it's minor enough to not require any um, further votes or women to your conditions. Uh, this is just like informational for your. Where, where is it? Where is this again? That's by like Cold Storage Drive. You okay. know, small village. Like between Cold Storage. Okay. And okay. Yeah. Yep. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So it's just more restoration, um, preventing further erosion along that. They had everything. They had everything built, and then rainstorm or whatever. And what had a, they they're got replacing plus, culverts at one point there, like last year or something, or they were gonna. They're yeah. They're, okay. They're, that's watching this project. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think it's been long enough that the, the it keeps just the bank keeps eroding. Yeah. Gotcha. There's gotcha. they need to do more. So they're just okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, bills. No bills. No bills. But I will be working on the budget soon. So okay. if there's stuff you want the budget for in 
And what do you got for updates? Updates? Not much. Not much? No, that's <laughs> no other updates. updates are done. Upcom upcoming learning opportunities? None of those. Either. None of those either? All right. Did you go to a closing that one? A while ago, did you go to that one? This is the MACC. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, I just completed the fundamentals training course. So yeah. I did eight of the webinars with MACC. Yeah. 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 And they're also giving us a free year of the online handbook. So I can get you all access yeah. to that if you'd like. Oh, perfect. Yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you could just read it and tell us what's in it. Yeah, yeah it's about like 500 notes. pages. Of yeah. Great stuff. All right. Um, November minutes. I have minutes from November. Okay. I don't think Gordon was here, but I think everybody else was here. Yep. So yeah, but this is page three. Yep. Okay, great. All right. Uh, we hear a motion to accept the minutes of the November meeting as uh, as reported. I'll make it. Here a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think Gordon can't make the motion to at the meeting. No. Oh. I'll make a motion to accept the November minutes. <laughs> Easy second. 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 Okay. Oh, second. Aye. 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 All in favor? Good to go. Aye. Aye. And then one other thing that didn't make it onto the agenda um, was just that I, I printed out a schedule of next next year's meeting, which will continue to meet on the second Tuesday of the month. But I this is just have it hasn't been posted on the Door of the Conservation Office. Right. Um, so if you want a copy, mark your calendar. Yeah. Um, this is the 2024 meeting schedule. And I don't, we, there's no interference with any holidays or anything. So it'll just be second Tuesday of the month um, for the year. All right. I think good? That's it. Yeah. All right. And if if uh, Mass DOT, when they send, if they send you anything, you can send it out. Yeah, I'll send an email yeah. to everybody. Send it out whatever, whatever she sends in. Yeah. That would be great. Um, Mr. Gorlinski, how you doing? Good, how are you? Been aboard. Not too bad. Not really good if I have to be here, but nothing serious. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you've been selected, selected. You guys, I got no trouble with. We got the pond dredge, we got the permits, no problem. You want me to talk? Yep, sure. Go, okay. go for it. You know the river field. You know, Boyfords, the big uh, drain that goes under 47, it dumps into my place. Yep. It's been flooded up bad for years. If ditch is always dug, do I have to do that, or is there funding available? Through you guys, or who do I see to get funding? I'm pretty sure the funding went out for the ditch cleaning, didn't it? Yeah, Maybe it goes high. Cold. All our money. That's what I was told anyway. Yeah, I don't. I'm not aware of any. You know, what can we find out? Have to get a hold of McCarthy. Would you know? Somebody. I, I already talked yeah. to those guys, uh, and also the lady there. She put me on the list. So funding's hot and cold. What I'll probably do is hire someone to back go get permit for you because I could go right to the river because it's turned into a wetland. It's been backed up for so many years. So it's funny, one of my fields, which is an APR for a fact, I just got APR there last year. So well, that was a dish there anyways, right? Yeah, it so just hasn't been maintained. You can see it, it's, it's not a problem. It hasn't been maintained. That's exactly right. Now did the town used to do it? Or who no, did? that goes far back. I think we dug it by hand back in the old days. You can think of my hand this time? Crazy. I can go along. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get a back old probably be the easiest, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. But I'll see you guys are permits ahead of time to be safe. Yeah. That's all everything's on your property, right? There's no clearly, yeah. Yep. That, yeah. So, okay. It floods from my side and backs up and hits off Scott's old farm. Who has that? DCR, what those programs have any border me? They're good neighbors, they're not a problem. I can't think of exactly who has it. Connecticut River Greenway or something it's called. I'm not sure. That, that wood piece they own right there. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. So to get a permit, so I have to set you guys up. I'll go for I'll start with the permit today anyway. If I get funding, it's great. If not, I'll add on my pocket. Yeah. So yeah, if you just what come back next month, we'll get give them get a permit and tell me what you want to do and just let them do it, right? So yeah. we approve of it. Right. Yeah, it's nothing right. completely illegal by any means. Yeah, we'll probably have to set up, you know, set up a sidewalk and stuff. Yeah, like that. that, that's easy. That yeah. yeah. It's just common sense. You can see where the old trenches were dug and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's straightforward down there. Right. Yeah. When I did APR, they were complaining, well, you got a wetlands. No, that wetland was created. There was no wetlands 30, 40 years ago. In the last 10, 50, they got okay. No, that's a big ditch. 
I mean, uh, Colbert, you're going to their boyfriends from the sugar shop. I don't want to block these. I like the guy. I don't want to flood about. It's not that extreme by any means. Right, but uh, right. there's a lot of water coming through there. Mm -hmm. I bet there is. Oh, yeah. Yep. It always was. It never, it never dries out. So, mm -hmm. All right. so you know, permit uh, process started. And uh, you want to set up a site review or? Yeah, might as set it up while I'm here. Well, let's get the let's get the application first, and then we can schedule everything. All right, I see you at uh, Quillers off. I'm always bitching at him at times. So I got between him and the police. It's his job to enforce the problems I've been having. So I finally found out whose jurisdiction was. That's another headache, not yours. But I'm making progress. Yep. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good to hear. Oh God, slow as shit sometimes. You don't run a private business like that. But right. yeah. and I think you have someone else on Zoom. Oh. Oh, go ahead. I need to hold you guys up. Okay, okay. sorry. Okay. Uh, yes, we got. We have somebody else on uh, online here that, that wants to go and speak. Okay, thanks for your time. I'll catch you guys. Yep. Yeah. For next month. Okay, I'll hold you this week. Oh yeah, you'll we'll see everything. You know. He wants to stay here in case you got to vote for something. Oh, I already voted. <laughs> <laughs> next door for we don't blow more money. <laughs> Take care. See you later. All right. I don't know. Is there anybody else on Zoom who has any questions or comments? Hi, this is the DeForges. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hey. Hi. We own property up in uh, Hadley on Three Mitch's Way. Okay. And you guys were out there for the trees and everything. So, like in October, to the tree that Gary didn't want to cut down. It ended up taking two of the trees down, and we just wanted to make you aware of it. Okay. okay. This is now Mitch's? Yeah. This is Mitch's, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember you guys came on our property, and we had that tree going when you come down the road, and you looked straight ahead, and it was hollow and everything. That was the first really big tree. Right. Correct. Right. Yep. Well, in October, it came down right before we were pulling out, and it took down two trees. Ooh. So we wanted to make you aware of it because someone could have seriously got hurt when they were pulling their campers out in October. Yep. But just in case you guys ever go by there and you see it's down, we did not pull it down. All right. All right. Uh, you're good. Thanks. No, thank, thank you. you for bringing Thanks. To our attention. You're welcome. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Have a good night. Uh, All right. Bye. Okay. That's it. Um, do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.